Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering widgets on iOS 16. I did this for iOS 15 last year as well. Not a lot has changed, but I just wanna cover everything that is to do with widgets, how to add them, how to customize them on iOS 16, and some of my favorite widget apps that I would recommend for you guys. So okay, let's get started. So here you can see all the widgets that I have on my home screen. So I have here a time widget and a battery widget. And then on this page here, I have another battery widget, but this one is where I can view my phones by percentage as well as my AirPods when they are connected. So I just find this really helpful. And if you have an Apple Watch, you can also view its battery percentage on here. And then here I have a Notion widget. And here I have two app widgets. So this one is the Bible app and this one is reminders. And then I have just two images that I added as widgets. So yeah, those are all the widgets that I have on my home screen. I do wanna show you exam more examples of what widgets could look like on your phone before we even get into like exactly how to add them. So here we have an example of some more widgets that you can add with more of like a aesthetic to them. Um, so yeah, those are really cool. Um, and then also I have this one right here, which also has some cool widgets. So you can see, you can really play around with widgets a lot. I feel like something that plays a big role in this is also the app icons that you use with your widgets. So you can also go ahead and install some app icons. I have videos on that. If you want to check that out, I'll have a link in the app top. I recently did one on installing themes. So that is wallpapers, widgets, and um, app icons all in one installing that on your phone. So uh, I have that video linked in the app top as well. But okay, that's enough rambling. Let's take a look at how to add some widgets. So how you get into the edit mode is you just hold long press on your screen until it goes into this jiggly mode. That means it's you can now edit it. So widgets are living here in the top left corner of your screen on that plus button there. You will see all the widgets that you have available. So the first few, few widgets here are just ones that they recommend for you. Um, so you can go ahead and just add those immediately if you want to um, but then also if you scroll down more you will see some more apps um, and then you can choose which widgets you want to add for those apps so um, let's go ahead and just add a widget so I'm gonna go ahead and go to reminders and then you can see you can go ahead and choose usually they have three options which is most common so you have a small widget a medium widget and then a large widget so you can choose whichever one you want and whichever one works for you um, but some apps do have more than one type of widget. So for instance, if I go into Notion, you'll see it has a small widget and here it says it's for page. So it's a single page in Notion that you can add a widget of. And then they also have here your favorites in a medium and large widget. And then they have another medium widget, is which is just all your recent pages that you visited and a large widget. So some of them have some variations of the types of widgets you can add. So yeah, keep that in mind. You have small, medium and large widgets. Some apps just give more options for that. So the basics of adding a widget, it's super easy. You hold it and then you just position it wherever you want it on your screen and then it's added. And if you want to remove one, you can just click on this minus option here and click on remove and then it is removed. So it's really easy to do. I do want to cover something as well, which is smart stacks here. So you again have a small, medium, a large widget for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this small one, but um, I'm going to click on add widget. What you need to note here is that this one is, you can have more than one apps widget in your smart stack. So here you can see, these are all the widgets that are in here. It just recommends some widgets um, that you can go ahead and turn off or on, or you can go ahead and click here. Say I wanna add a Notion page to that smart stack. I can go ahead and click on add a widget and then it's added into our smart stack. So we just click on this plus button here to add it um, in. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some. So I will keep music, I'll remove weather, I'll remove the photos. I added one for color widgets, which is an app we're gonna get into a little later for widgets. Um, so yeah, then you have all your apps here that you want to set up. You'll see you also have a few options down here. So smart rotate makes it rotate. So if you have it set to music throughout the day, it might rotate to Bible app automatically. So you can go ahead and turn that off or on if you want to. And then we also have widget suggestions. So then it will randomly add widgets to your stack that it suggests you use. So you can turn that off or on. I'm gonna turn it off. Um, and then you can just go ahead and set that up. So now when it's on your home screen, you can just go ahead and swipe through it and find the widget that you're looking for. So 
it's really easy to, to navigate and use um, and it's just very simple. So I really like smart stacks as well. You can have multiple widgets in one stack. So that is what that looks like. Now let's take a look at some of my favorite widget apps that I would recommend to you guys. So the first one is Color Widgets, which is the one that I have set up here. They have some beautiful looking widgets. I just really love the look of them. So here you can go ahead and go in. Here you can see at the top, I have all my widgets that I have available. So here you can see all the ones that I have set up. They all show in medium sizes, but when you go into a widget, you'll see you have all three size options. So you're not just stuck with the medium widget. Um, also here you can also see your lock screen widget. So this app is really helpful for that. If you want a whole video on widget apps that I recommend for your lock screen. So that is for things like this where you have app launchers um, or you have things like this that look like this and have a calendar. I have a whole video on widget um, apps for your lock screen that I also made. So I'll have also that linked in the app top. But yeah, so they can also have lock screens here and color widgets. Here you can go ahead and look at all the widgets that they have. If it has this little pro icon here, it means you need a subscription to be able to use that widget. Otherwise, they have a bunch of free options out there. They have quotes, music, they have some pastel dates and everything, calendars, um, sunsets, sunrises. They have so many things. You can also just add in your own like photos like I did with these widgets right here. So I use color widgets for that. Um, so you can also go ahead and do that as well. So go ahead and take a look at color widgets. They have a bunch of widgets. They have some themes that you can go ahead and add to your phone if you want a set of wallpapers and icons and widgets all in one place. And they have some app icons as well. So definitely recommend checking out that app. Then we have Widgetsmith here, which you saw is on my home screen here. They have very minimal um, widgets. I feel like Color Widgets is way more like colorful and out there. Um, Widgetsmith is very basic for what it can do. Here you can see some widgets that I have here. They, they do categorize them in small, medium, and large widgets. And you can also go ahead and add lock screen widgets as well. They have that option. Um, but yeah, so here you can see you can go ahead and go in, you can edit it. So you, here you can see which widget it is. So you can choose photos. They have um, some time widgets, sunrise. They have hourglass, you have date widgets. And um, yeah, they have so many that you can choose from. So you're in the first section here in the widget section, you just go ahead and choose the type of widget that you want. So here you can see all the categories that they have here. I'm gonna go to battery. So you can choose a battery widget. Then you go here to the theme section to make this more your own. So you can choose one of the themes that I have here for you, or you can go to custom theme. In the customized theme section here, you will see you can go ahead and adjust a bunch of things. So the tint is the color of the um, battery widget. So you can go ahead and choose a color for that. Then you can go ahead and choose the background color if you want to. Um, and they have a bunch that you can choose from. You can also go ahead and choose a border if you want for your widget, or you can set to none. Um, and then artwork here is just a bunch of things they can also add here. So um, they have quite a few options here that you can go ahead and choose from to make it all the more like your own. You can also go to custom here in the background section to make sure it is the exact color that you want. Um, you can go ahead and use hex colors as well if you want to. Um, and um, that can you can also do just to make this really fit to your style. And then once you're good, you can go ahead and click on save and then you have set it good to go. And then you're good to go. So I forgot to mention how these apps work. So for instance, color widgets, I have a few here. So each one is named. You can name it yourself or you can just go with widget one, two, three, whatever. So say I want to add widget number six to my home screen. All I need to do is hold down on my display, um, click on the plus button and find the color widgets section. Um, so here you can see color widgets and then I can choose which size I want. So say I want the biggest size here, I can click on add widget. Um, but then to go ahead and set it to the correct widget, all you need to do is tap on it and then you will see it brings up this little menu and then you click here and choose which widget it is you wanna set. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose my widget and then you are good to go and there it is set to the correct widget. That goes for the same for Widgetsmith here. Let me just quickly remove this widget. You go to Widgetsmith, go ahead and choose the size you want. 
and then you can go ahead and click on it again and then just choose the one you want again it is named so i can go ahead and click on date here which is the one that we just made the battery icon and i can go ahead and customize it to my liking and set it put it anywhere on my screen that I want it to. So that is how you set those up to make sure that it is the right one that you've set up for yourself. Um, all these widget apps kind of work that way. Um, it's just names each widget and then just select the correct one. Next up is top widgets here, which also has some great functionality. I'm not gonna go into too much depth with this one just because it works basically the same as the other two. I'm just gonna show you what they have to offer. So in the recommended section, you'll see a bunch of widgets here. So these are lock screen widgets though. So um, yeah, those are just lock screen widgets here. You'll see some other widgets here that um, is more like for your home screen. They have so many you can choose from. Here you can see they have the X panel here, which gives you a bunch of info on your device and what phone you have, what software you're running, how much storage you have, battery percentage, all that you can add. You can also go to photos, can add photos. Quick launcher is really cool. So you can go ahead and set up that when you tap on this widget on like this icon, it will open up that app. I have a whole video on that also linked in the eye top, um, but you can go ahead and set that up as well. So that is all for top widgets. I'm not gonna go in too much depth, but they have some cool functionality here. They also have transparent widgets, which allows you to set the background of the widgets to your lock screen so that it looks transparent. So that's really cool for the, um, quick launchers so it will look like these are on your wallpaper that it doesn't have like a white background so that's really cool. MD clock here is a really cool widget as well for um clocks this is the 8-bit one which is the most popular um, but this one you do need to pay for so i'm going to click on the plus button here and go to md clock you will see here it shows you all the ones that they have so it will show you all the widgets that they have available they have a lot because they have so many different clocks on their app um, but then you can just go ahead and choose one and then you can add that widget to your lock screen like i said this one is paid so um, it's not free but um yeah, you can go ahead and just look through and see something you like. Then next up, I want to talk about transparent widgets. Now I'm going to go into depth about this, but this basically allows you to have a transparent widget. So I'm going to go ahead and first cover this app here, which is Clear Spaces. This is a paid app, but it's my favorite for this. You can go ahead and just go in, down more. And as you can see, uh, mine is still outdated. This is an old wallpaper that I have. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down on my device and go to a blank screen and take a screenshot like this. And then I'm gonna go back into clear spaces and then upload that image. So then it is correctly set to the right wallpaper that I want. And then all you need to do to add a clear spaces widget is go to the clear spaces in the widget section, which is this one here. And then I can go ahead and choose maybe like a medium one and then I can add it in there. And then this is what it's gonna look like. It's just a clear space there at the top, which you wouldn't usually get. This doesn't work very great with the drop shadows that it's showing as you can see because I have a lighter background with darker backgrounds this might work better. Um, then you can also go ahead and edit that if you want to um, and you can go ahead and choose if you want a clock on there or something. So this is what it's going to look like when you have that set up. With wallpapers with more going on this could look cooler as well because it will actually show the entire wallpaper in all its glory. Um, but yeah so that is clear spaces that is how you can add clear widgets. I have a video on that on this app specifically. If you want to check that out again, I have top um, that you can go ahead and see in depth how this works. This is just a free version of this same app. It's just free. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and check out that video if you want to see more on this app. But that's also a cool transparent widget app that I would recommend you check out if you're interested in that. The only reason I don't really use those clear spaces widgets anymore is because of iOS 16 with the new lock screens and everything. When I switch to a different wallpaper, then it's going to be different colored. So if I now go ahead and add that clear spaces widget, as you can see, it's not going to work anymore because it is set to a different wallpaper. Um, but those are still really cool if you just have one set of wallpapers that you use that you want to do this with So that is also really nice. So yeah, that was my video on widgets on iOS 16 I hope this helped you guys out and maybe you find some apps that you can use for widgets on your phone Widgets are just such a fun way to customize your phone. So I definitely recommend checking out those apps I'll have them all linked in the description box below as well if you want to check them out 
If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know if you have any questions. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 16 related videos like this and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!